Hello, my name is Jonathan Shved, and today I'll be talking about Chinese, Indian, Islamic, and medieval mathematics. So to begin with mathematics in ancient and medieval China, uh, mathematics in China was developed independently with early records dating back to the Zhao dynasty. Mathematics was closely tied to statecraft, astronomy, and engineering. A key text includes the nine chapters on the mathematical arts, which was a foundational text compiling practical problems and algorithms. Some key individuals include Li Hu, who provided commentaries and improved algorithms, including for pi and volume calculations. Uh, Quin Ji Shao, another individual, advanced work in indeterminate analysis and introduced the Chinese remainder theorem. And please forgive me if I mispronounce any of these names. Uh, some major contributions include uh, the place value decimal system, rod numerals, and sophisticated algorithms for arithmetic operations, also area and volume formulas for various shapes, including circles and spheres, methods for linear and quadratic equations, including matrix-like solutions, uh, early work on systems of congruence and solutions to indeterminate equations, and so the Chinese mathematics influenced and was influenced by neighboring cultures, notably through contact with India and later the Islamic world. Uh, moving to ancient and medieval India, Indian mathematics flourished from the Vedic period with a strong emphasis on astronomy, ritual, and computation. Uh, some key figures include Arya, uh, Aryabhata, sorry if I'm mispronouncing these, uh, who developed place value notation, trigonometric tables, and algorithms for roots. Uh, Brahmagupta, uh, who created rules for zero, negative numbers, and solutions to quadratic and indeterminate equations. And Bhaskara II, who advanced algebra, with calculus-like concepts and uh, combinatronics. So some of the major contributions of India include decimal place valued system and the concept of zero, algorithms for arithmetic, root extraction, and algebraic manipulation, uh, also area and volume formulas, sign tables, and early trigonometric identities. Uh, systematic solutions for linear, quadratic, and certain higher degree equations. So, and also in uh, binomial coefficients, uh, combinatorial methods, and transmission of mathematical ideas to the Islamic world. And so, mathematics in the Islamic world thrive from the 8th to the 15th uh, century, centralized in Baghdad and later in Spain, North Africa, and Central Asia. It synthesized Greek, Indian, and Persian traditions. Some key figures include, and once again, so sorry for mispronouncing these, but um, Al-Khwarizmi, uh, who was known to be the founder of algebra, uh, systemic solutions to quadratic equations. Uh, Omar Khayyam, who developed solutions to cubic equations using conic sections, and then uh, al Karaji, al Semawal, and al Kashi, who advanced algebra, arithmetic, and decimal fractions. Some major contributions of the Islamic world include adoption and the spread of the decimal system and algorithms. Uh, systemic treatment of equations, introduction of algebraic symbolism, and geometric solutions uh, to qubits, uh, binomial coefficients and enumeration techniques, and then the extension of Greek geometry, spherical trigonometry, and improved sine and cosine tables. And uh, their translation movement preserved and expanded Greek and Indian mathematics, transmitting knowledge to Europe. And in medieval Europe, uh, mathematics in the Middle Ages was initially limited, but revived through contact with Islamic Spain and Sicily. 
and the translation of Greek and Arabic texts. Some key figures include Fibonacci, who introduced Hindu Arabic numerals, um, and the Liber uh, Abbasi, and uh, another key individual, Jordanus de Nemori, uh, and uh, Nicole Orismi, and others who developed algebra, kinematics, and combinatronics. Um, some major contributions or adaptations were the adoption of uh, Hindu Arabic numerals and decimal arithmetic, uh, reintroduction and extension of Greek and Islamic geometry, early work on permutations, combinations, and symbolic algebra, and uh, kinematics or the mathematical analysis of motion, setting a stage for a large developments in calculus later. So here's a table overview uh, with the civilization, key figures, major contributions and significance, with China significance being uh, practical algorithms, regional influence, India foundational concepts and global spread, Islamic world synthesis and transmission to Europe, and medieval Europe, the rebirth of mathematics in the West. Uh, thank you for listening, and have a good day.